Okay, back right here with the 2001 Monte Carlo SS uh, engine swap. I think this is update number six. Okay, uh, it's been probably, I've been working on this for, I'd say 17, 18 hours total. From Saturday night, all day Sunday, and then today Monday, Labor Day, happy Labor Day. Uh, the old engine back here, rims over here. Um, this is the close to final product of everything that I've been doing. Notice this look like my other engine that, that I pulled out of here. Yeah, uh, the main problem I seen in the, uh, this engine right here was basically cylinder one and two. You know it's one three five two four six. Cylinder one and two look like the bearing on the uh, on the crankshaft uh, turned or, or something like that, and it just tore up the whole crankshaft motor seized up, and then this happened. The harmonic balancer uh, split in two. And when I turn the engine over with a wrench, it, it feels like it has no compression, no nothing. And it only let me turn it maybe half a turn, and it's hard. It's, it's real hard to turn. Um, basically, uh, instead of going inside this shit, trying to figure out what's wrong with it, I rather just went to the junkyard and got another one and do my best to part with that. So this this right here used to be in the engine uh, in the MC. It's all torn down, stripped naked. Every every bit of goodie that I had put in here, I done transferred over here to this one. Um, this car looks like it's motor look like it's been uh, sitting in the insurance yard or whoever records yard for a while, and is is in dying need of an engine flush, a coolant flush and possibly a fuel injection cleaning or whatever you want to call it so i will be having to give it all that um putting new spark plugs on uh spark plug wise uh um i done redid the oil pan gasket the water pump the low intake manifold the upper man uh upper intake manifold um right now i'm getting ready to put these two together and you can see I did the rear main seal over. You know, so you see a lot of orange, a lot of places, silicones everywhere. I don't uh I don't put put a lot of work into this and uh make sure everything tight and whatnot. And uh it's basically it right now is a little quick update, update number six. Um about to put the transmission with the uh, motor together. Uh, I'm gonna have to go clean the engine bay. Clean it all out. Looks like a mess right now. Um, clean all out the engine bay. Uh, clean a bunch of stuff down there that I noticed earlier. You know, uh, a lot of grease and oil everywhere. So I'm gonna get to all that and uh, make sure everything is clean before I bring the engine over to put it back down in. Um, one of my CG, CV joint axle broke. I don't know why, but it, it broke in half. So I got to replace that one. The other one is fine. Um, so that's extra work for me for today. Um, hopefully by tonight, somewhere, well, right now it's about 9.30, going on 10. So by 5 o'clock, I should be able to fire this car up while the engine up inside the car. So yeah, I've been working on this for about 16 hours, non-stop, 16 hours straight. I'm talking about from Saturday night into Sunday. That's basically what I've been doing, and I've been working hard at it, getting it in, grinding down everything. I'm sanding down things. I'm, I'm, I'm resurfacing metal. 
I'm doing all, all type of nonsense, but I'm getting this engine back to how I had this one before it took a shit on me. And hopefully this one don't take a shit on me too, because this shit is uh, 68,000 miles certified. So I'm expecting to get at least 100 to 100 from it. So that's that's about 30,000 more miles out of that, as opposed to this one. This one gave me 15, about 15, 20, 20,000 miles in a year. I did a lot of driving in this motor. After I put this motor in the MC, this MC went everywhere. And I made sure I drove it everywhere. Even if it was to the corner store, I made sure I drove it everywhere. Get every bit out of it. But like they say, when the engine is internal, or has internal problems, if you can replace it, replace it. Because it's cheaper to replace the motor than it is to tear it down and rebuild it. You know, when you rebuild uh, engines, you have certain complications that, you know, you don't expect to have. You know, you can have a loose this or tight, too much of a tightness and that. And you have to take it down and put it back together and take it down. And put it, so you might as well get a used engine that you know has been running efficiently or whatever. And, you know, just needs a new home. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. I'm giving this motor a chance to relive again in the new home. Um, like I said, I'm about 80%, 85% complete on everything. I got to go get that CV joint, got to take it out and go get it fixed, and uh, or bolt off one of the headers broke, which runs to the uh, catalytic converter, then to the, uh, to the straight pipe, that has to be fixed, so I need to get that done ASAP, uh, but yeah, it's been a work in progress. I've been doing my hardest, trying my hardest to get things done, and, you know, I've been working nonstop. This is about, like I said, 17, 16, 17 hours of straight work, straight dedication to this shit only, and hopefully it'll be done, or it'll be in the car. Even if I don't start it today, it'll be in the car today. That's what I'm going for right now. Quick update, you know, update number six. Uh, everything... As far as transferring parts from here, from there to here, it was a success. Uh, um, on this engine, I did have a crankshaft seal uh, failure and the oil pan gasket uh, failure, as well as uh, one of the the valve covers. Excuse me, one of the intake uh, lower intake manifold was leaking. So, I didn't notice those problems till I just took the engine out. You know, it was like wet spots, but it was leaking. And we're trying to avoid that. So, I put extra silicone on this motor right here to avoid this. Because these engines, they get hot seriously fast. I think this is... I know cars get hot when you crank them. But this shit look like it's been hot since you started it. You know, this engine gets hot real fast. They have cooling issues. They have overheating issues. They have temperature gate issues, electrical issues. These engines get hot real, real fast. For whatever reason. Well, yeah, that's how it goes. You know, it's a quick rebuild. Uh, well, not rebuild. This is the re... It's the engine swap on the uh, Monte Carlo SS. And hopefully by tonight, around 5 o'clock, this motor should be in the car, no matter what. I don't care if it's raining outside, this motor has to go in the car tonight. That This was my deadline I gave myself. You know, I, I, this is my car. This is nobody else's car. I got my truck in the back, so I can always drive my truck. But this is my car. I gave myself a deadline to push myself to get the job done. You know, motivation. So by 5 o'clock tonight, this engine should be in the car. If everything goes as well, it might even run. So... Yeah, this quick update, engine swap, coming together.